hey, don't you just hate it when you're trying to divide currencies and the answer you get has a weird decimal format? Let me demonstrate it to you. Let's say this is $9 and I'll, I want you to divide that to 81 people. You can see the syntax of division and we should get our answer and we should display over here. So let's see our answer. According to Java, each person gets 0.111 etc. cents. In reality, it's impossible to pay people like that. And it looks unprofessional to have it on our program. So, in order to rectify that problem, we have to use a syntax called a decimal format. It's, in, it's a syntax where you, where you tell Java how many digits that you want after the decimal point. So, in order to use that syntax, we got to import a library and type in import Java dot text dot decimal format. As you can see here, we use text, not util. Remember to use text or else this won't work. Now let's have it, yeah, let's have a uh, object. Let's type in decimal format f for your variable equals new decimal format. Open close parentheses. We have to type inside the parentheses, or else what's the point of having the syntax if you don't if you don't tell Java how many digits that you want inside your answer? All right, so let's type in 0, 0.00. This right here is going to make two digits maximum, so it will be 0 0.11 basically. If you have nines right here instead of ones right here, and this is one one still, and if you have uh, two digits that you want, then this will run up to two right here. If you're gonna have two digits, and if you have all nines after the eleven. All right, now let's type in a syntax to make this object work. So let's type in the variable f from here, and then type in format format is not a variable though it's a syntax from this library so also remember this syntax right here so now let's save run compile and run it's point one one Cool, huh? Now we can we can we can also include a currency sign. So save that. Compile. Run. Eleven cents. All right. Now let's get to this program right here. All right. We're gonna use scanner for this. So uh, we declared our scanner object, also our decimal format object, and you see we told Java we want two digits after the decimal. So we asked the user how much did he make per year, and then the user will input input it, and then this will be the new value. And then next, we use the format to format this uh, variable right here. So let's, let's run that. All right. How much do I make per year? For example, let's say I make 100 grand a year. Yeah, it looks all right, but... It will be better if we just add a uh, a comma as well. 
well, I'm going to show you a wrong way in order to add a comma and a right way to add a comma. But first, let's do the wrong way. Type in zeros and type in the comma and then zero. Let's also add dollar sign. This right here is the wrong way, and I'll, t I'll show you why. So let's compile that. Oops, wrong one. Alright, it's compiled, and let's run it. 100, 100 grand, it works. Uh, yeah, it will still work. It doesn't look sloppy, but it looks good with the comma now. But what if some users type in hundred dollars? No, that's not right. And it looks so unprofessional. So now let's take out those zeros. Instead of the zeros, type in that number sign or pound or scratch or whatever you call it. It repl it, it replaces zero. So if if user type in three digits instead of four then it won't output this part right here in the commas as well so this is really a neat uh, little syntax right here of the pound sign so type that or save that compile make sure it's the right one let's run it say hundred grand Hundred thousand works good. Now say one hundred, one hundred, one hundred. We didn't see the zeros and we're compensating anymore. And and the good thing about this uh, syntax for the pound, it will also increase uh, to the left side. And let me show you what I meant by what I meant by that. Type in one million. One million. This pound sign tells you, like, if you user type in a huge number, then it will also duplicate this part right here, and it will keep going on, and that's pretty good.